That's a major move. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of How Basketball Saved My Life. I'm your host, The Easy Button. Your boy, Twana Don. And we have a very special guest, guests in here for y'all today. Tony Young, how are you today? I'm great. And then Miss Clarissa, how are you today? Good. All right, all right. So basketball, WNBA player. You played at uh, Oklahoma State, mm -hmm. you know, played a little bit overseas. How'd you get your start hooping? Michael actually forced me into playing basketball. Forced you? Forced me because um, I was always taller than everybody. Right. Him too. I was always taller, so he kind of just forced me. Like, right. So this coach, she, she, she was on your neck. She got you to hoop. When did you fall in love with it? Um, man, I had to say college, actually. Oh, it took a minute. It took a minute. I was always just naturally good at it. When you're good at stuff, you just do it. Yeah. But it's the team that makes you love it. It's the people around you that right. make you love it. The so, relationships. Yeah. So I love like, I love my team in high school. I love my coaches. Me and my coach are still really good friends. Yeah. Um, but college made me love it. Now that I think about like professional and college life, I would go back to college over any transition. Right. College was the best. I committed going into my senior year. Yeah. Yeah, so before then, like, I was getting a couple letters here and there because I was playing AU. Right. So I was getting a couple letters here and there, but not until after I committed. You they think, started coming in. You think most of your love came from AAU? A lot of that kind of college appreciation came more from when you were playing AAU or playing on a high school team? Man, I think a little bit of both because, um, well, actually, before then, I had went on a trip. I'm about to say, you didn't play cool. Let me tell you my one, my one bad experience. My yeah. one bad experience, I had went to, um, Macon, and I went to the private school down there, and we get down there, and they tell me like, "We about to celebrate you." I'm like, "What we celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> it's not my birthday." Like, what, what, what we celebrating? So they're like, "Yeah, we about to celebrate. Come to the middle." So I come in the middle. We all turn, and I'm, I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. You're <laughs> what's going on?" They pick me up. They're like, "Yeah, Tony committed to us." Uh, I'm like, "Tony committed? Word to who? To y'all?" Mm -hmm. Were you were you then already a WNBA prospect? Or were you still, you got something before you answer that? When did you feel you was about to be ready for like a WNBA prospect? Never a goal. Never a goal. Never a goal. The WNBA was never a goal. It was. <laughs> 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 we was practicing. Right. I, I've been able to dunk since I was like a. You just gonna let the whole show go. See how she like left it out and say nothing about dunking That's the whole fault. time. I should have knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I started dunking like my sophomore year in high school. Wow. Yeah, there's a That's when I started year. dunking. <laughs> yeah, so she me in. too. I ain't gonna cap. See. Boy, snapped that thing in three places. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. You got pins in there? Nah, what's crazy is when after I fell, I snatched it. And it back in place. Yeah, and it was it was sitting like this. And I lined it back up, so I didn't have to have surgery. Only thing is, my arm don't turn like it's supposed to. Mm. But so you can't. Nah. This 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 Surely you're a prospect. Then you starting to hear the buzz. That is uh, that is when I started getting a little buzz. My coaches have brought me in and told me that uh, San Antonio was looking at me. Yeah. Uh, that's actually where I wanted to go. Yeah. It was close to home, and um, I had... It's a drive. Not, yeah, it's just a drive. Yeah. Um, so, so what would you have left junior year and actually went and played? I would not have left. Not yet? I, no, no, because my education was my biggest thing then. Because basketball is, is not... It's not for certain. Right. Like, I broke my arm, and like, boom, I could have been kicked off the team then. They don't right. keep they injured players. Right. Somebody else exactly, they don't keep injured players. So I'm like, all right, it's time to buckle down. So um, even then, like... Graduate and then go to college. Yeah, I mean go to go to the yeah, pros. Sure, for sure. Yeah. So what were you studying? Uh, education. I have a science degree in education. Awesome. Um, I thought I wanted to be a teacher. Yeah. But I don't like kids. <laughs> <laughs> or you knew what you wanted to do going in. I ain't gonna lie. I took some fluff classes. I took That's fluff so. classes, man. Okay. <laughs> all right, all but right. I, I finished them. What for I did sure. was I did all my basics first. Right. Because I man, I was so unsure, like so unsure what I wanted. I'm still unsure what I want to do. Man. Yeah. I'm about to be thirty. Man, <laughs> I'm thirty. I'm still trying to figure your life out. Yeah. Kids, don't take fluff classes. If the coach is trying to make you take fluff classes, talk to your local guidance counselor, <laughs> or parent, or guardian. Right? I mean, that's that's coming it. from a counselor. Yeah. Yeah. Get the basics out of the way. Yeah, if nothing it. else, get them done first. I mean, let's, I mean, I know you're not real keen on that whole situation, so 
Yeah, let's get into it. I'm not even gonna give you a starting point. Let's get into it. The WNBA. Yes. Um, I don't feel like it's for everybody. Uh, it is definitely um, it's a business. So when I got yeah, when I got into the league, I was underdeveloped. And when you go into the league, there is no developmental stage. You go into there ready to play. You have to. Yeah, you have to go in there ready to play. And when I went into um, New York. Because they got to play their position. No, because it's a business. Facts. It's what you can bring to them, what yeah. you can do for them. It's all a business. That's, man, there's so many there's so many athletes that don't be that don't need to be there that's there. Oh, man. I, I ain't even going to get you to call them out. I'm going to ask you to do it. I'm, like, I'm better than that. So. <laughs> yeah, there's some of them. So, <laughs> I ain't going to stop you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, WBA versus overseas. So, businesses. You keep talking about you work for yourself. You keep getting ahead of me. I'm sorry. So I'm now sorry. we got to get into it. What we what we doing out here, and where can they find you? Um, I own a tire mechanic shop. Let's get it. Nine one two eight Northeast Twenty Third. Uh, it's called Midwest Tire. And I'm mad at you because you wasn't Norman. I right. wasn't Norman, man. I wasn't Norman. And one day I went to look for you. You weren't there. And I was there. gone. <laughs> and I rolled up out of there. Like my life jacket, this ice in my veins is something titanic. Lockdown defense kept me out the center for detention. Divine intervention passes over to my center. Alleyways are the alley oops. Some got no looks and passed away when somebody shoot. Back in court, duo, but nobody hoops. The wrist follow through when the cuffs got a loop. Pick a book or pick the big book. It's just you and I out running suicides. Me, I was out running suicide. Boy, I'm going in, dropping gems that I picked up in these gems. I can't slack, I've been down and back. I'm just trying to share a few tales from this thing called life. Count my assists, man, I swear that basketball really saved my life. Yeah, uh, yeah. I swear it saved my life. Let's go.